Hey folks, welcome to Boost Trip Session again and today I will teach you how to enable write support for NTFS partition in Ubuntu Linux. Okay, so run these commands one by one into the terminal. So press Ctrl, Alt and T into the keyboard to launch the terminal. And here you can see that this is my NTFS partition and I'm not able to create something or delete or cut something. Okay, here you can see this is my NTFS partition. Okay. So I'm just going to drag and drop these commands one by one into the terminal type the user password So first of all do copy and paste this if this happens in your case It may or may not But we have to do this for proceeding further. So we have to do this. Okay, and now it's done Okay, so now launch the bow command again this one and it's not installed. So don't worry about it just execute the second command and this will be removed that's okay and now the third command also it will get download from the internet so connect to the internet before it now unmount this drive okay the ntfs drive all the ntfs drives you need to unmount them if you don't see this here other locations then type the window button and click just type disk and this launch this one and here you can see the partitions with the location plus the type okay so we have this one 81 gb that was this one sdb3 right sdb3 same here and same we have a lot of partitions here and now after that command just launch these commands one by one for the partitions which you want to fix the problem for okay so we have the terminal right here and first of all we will try to fix the sdb3 partition so that we can have a look that it's really fixing that so operation not permitted windows is hibernated so you cannot always get this working on windows drive okay because i have three operating systems mac os linux and windows so i cannot run this on windows sometimes maybe but i have these two partitions also so i will be running on these two sda2 and sda1 okay and they will be working successfully and here you can see that was processed successfully the same i'm going to do with the sda1 and press enter and this was also processed successfully so let me show you by opening one of the partitions that copy paste cut and delete are working and here the data 2 partition here right okay and in here i have just opened a folder right so now i will just right click on a file and i can cut it copy it move it rename it move it to trash means delete whatever i like i can do it so we have the problem fixed let me show you by deleting this file permanently and see it got deleted subscribe to support boost up station that's it. Thank you for watching. Now it's time to discover more. Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more.